In December, News 10 brought you a series of stories on fights at the Heatley School in Green Island. It's caused anxiety among teachers and for some students um, all to walk out. But now that school is shifting to remote learning and News 10's Connell Smith has the details on what that school could be in for. Because of an increase in physical altercations, students here at Heatley High School will not return to physical classrooms this week. And parents we spoke with say this is not the first time fights have broken out of the school. We have gone from a school district where you could count the number of fights on your hand to multiple fights in a single week constantly. The official move to virtual comes after Green Island police say last Thursday a 16 year old girl was assaulted by another student in the hallway of the high school. It's an ongoing pattern of increasing violence at the school. Back in December, Green Island police confirmed in News 10 officers were aware of several fights between students at the school. Since then, more than a dozen teachers have reportedly quit in response. Some parents tell us their kids say most of the fights are stunts for TikTok. My son told me that a lot of it is uh, pre-planned and staged, that um, they are using the TikTok as their motivation to record the fights, so they're pre-planned, and sometimes they're not even real fights, they're just staged for a video and they get out of control. Right now, the parents say all they want for their kids is to be in school and learning safely. I want my kids to have a safe and effective education in the building because they need the socialization right. and I want people to be held accountable for their actions. That's what I want. The Heatley School will be virtual from Monday, February 14th until Friday the 18th. This Tuesday, the school district will host a parent forum from 4.30 to 6 p.m. for concerned parents. In a statement, Superintendent Kimberly Ross says, quote, the safety of our students and staff continues to be the district's highest priority and the forum provides an opportunity for our entire community to be actively involved in seeking tangible solutions for a safe learning environment. In Green Island, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.